All right, today let's talk about workflow and how incredibly fast a songwriter can work with uh, just a few uh, cool little software packages here. Let's start with Scalar 2. And let's say for today we want to write music in, um, let's go with like a cinematic, something, you know, like suspenseful. We'll go suspense number one. And so we immediately get this chord progression. And um, if we um, just quickly add a contact player, and if we go to uh, the orchestra, instead of uh, picking the instrument by default, let's go with a multi this time. And let's go right down to something like Hollywood Action. Double click. That loads up three players with 15 different instruments. And that's immediately ready to go. If we just turn on the monitor, make sure that's on, and it's hooked up to a scaler is driving it. And um, let's turn on a voice grouping to keep it a little, uh, move it in a, a better place for the orchestra to play it. Now, if everything's set up right, uh, maybe turn it down a little bit, it's gonna be loud. Uh, we should immediately have something to start working with in a very good way. So yeah, that is powerful. Just right off the bat, we're getting um, a really nice, powerful orchestra, which is playing our chord progression ideas as we've created. So what we can do now is just quickly you know, find exactly the starting point we want to work with by going through the defaults and then we can quickly edit to what we want. So let's try Suspense 2 and let's go to the next basic orchestra and try that. So our workflow is really quick. We're just checking out different suspenseful uh, chord progressions with great uh, action-packed orchestra here. And let's try a different one. So we're going to kind of test a few things out and then we're going to uh, get into editing. So let's try this. And let's go down to the battle. So if we want more percussion, a little more evil feel, Let's go maybe, uh, let's see, we want to go full on horror. And now immediately we'll get some great feedback. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? I mean, uh, okay, so, but let's stay focused here. So say this is our starting point where we want to start with. So we just grab these chords and say let's drag them down. Let's drag them down so now our DAW will be playing it uh, with our DAW. And um, now we have it set up at 120 beats per minute. And now let's say that these chords are just what we're gonna start with and let's uh, begin to edit. We have our orchestra and we kind of like the sound that we have and we can edit that in any way we want with all these 15, or in this case, just 10 different instruments. But we can add in any way we want to get any kind of sound. But this, the whole idea of is getting up and running quickly with big sound and good chords as a starting point almost instantly. So once you've chosen where you want to start, we can uh, right click and go down to edit the chord. And as you hit these yellow tabs that I've talked about before, now I can start to edit these uh, big chords in any way that I want. So I can add in the scale, I can add and make it even bigger can add that horn in there. So I've added two notes to this first chord and I'm going to adjust the velocity. I don't want the horn that loud. I'll bring it down a little bit. Maybe even less or you could bring it all the way up but you're adjusting things as you want for each chord. All right so now I go back to the main. So I've adjusted my first chord and as I play it with my DAW, I can instantly get feedback within the context of a full big orchestra on the edit I just made. Now that 
that is powerful. I mean, uh, say I don't like the C sus, uh, sus uh, chord, I can go down there and edit same way, change the, uh, add maybe some higher notes on there within the scale. Um, and now that's just in the range of percussion, so I may want to take that off and just go with the horns down here, and I may want to thin it out in the middle, uh, depending. It's totally up to you what you want to do with your chord. But after having changed that, now I go back to the main view, and now I've edited two chords, and I can play it uh, from the beginning. But if that wasn't enough, I can instantly compare it to the original by playing the original up here. Or I can go back down here and play the edited. So that F, I kind of like that better than the original. So um, that is how to quickly work within uh, the orchestra and scaler. And, of course, you can change anything at any time and do it really quick. The, the point is you're getting feedback on your edits in, you know, almost real time uh, as far as having the, the feedback from a big orchestra. All right, so let's just move that away. Let's mute that. And let's go in a whole different, uh, you know, uh, look at this by going into some uh, keyboard playing, piano. Let's drag in an Easy Keys. Now Easy Keys is made uh, from like a professional, it's a group of professional uh, piano MIDI, and we can see in the browser, that you can drag MIDI into and out of, into your DAW, and it gives you a full library of some great, um, all kinds, depending on how many packs you get, you can get piano MIDI for almost any type of music. So let's switch this to something like, uh, let's go with the 70s funk soul number one. That changes our keys or our uh, chord progression. And uh, we can get rid of this for now. So we can uh, delete these. And we're starting off with a whole new, now we're writing music for piano. So if Easy Keys is set up right and we can monitor this, we should have a nice piano chord uh, here. All right, so let's go with classic soul to match our soul here, and uh, straight four, and verse, and listen to what easy key a professional uh, piano player would come up with. So really nice, and a laid back soul music. But of course, we want to have that style of player to help me demo all my uh, chord progression writing here. So I want to have a professional piano player right next to me as I create uh, my songs here. And that's exactly what we can do. So if we're starting off with an idea for our chord with this funk and soul, we can listen to it. And we know that we can add some performances that are really neat from within Scalar and listen to it. And there's a lot of really great stuff in here now and you can go through all those and it's super. So, uh, but if you want to go with some really focused piano playing, um, a great way to do it is with easy keys. So we can turn off voice grouping. Uh, we know our chords to start with, so we can grab those and um, just drag them into Easy Keys. And it'll give you some options. You can turn on and off to, according to how you want to work. Just import it straight up. Drag it out to see it better. And we'll turn on Looper. And now, when I play this, it should be the same as what I play in Scalar, so. Yeah, so we just double check that. Yeah, we've got exactly the same chords in here as in Scalar. But now this is where the fun starts because now I want to have it played by a professional piano player and I want to get the feel and the groove of how a professional would play it and I want to hear my new chord progression in context. 
So we hit this Use Browser button, or MIDI, Use Browser MIDI button. This goes red down here, and it goes red up here, meaning any type of style of music now that I click on up here will be interpreted with the chords down here from my original from Scalar. Um, it changes the naming convention, but it's the same chords. So now, when I uh, change the MIDI and the style, it will be played with my chords that I'm editing and coming up with here. So let's just play that now. I mean, how much better is that than listening to just trying to, when you're, when you're songwriting, there are times when you just want to hear the chords, uh, but there are times when you want to hear your songwriting in the, how a professional would play it right there if he was next to you on the bench as you're writing songs on your piano. And so now the same thing applies. Um, you can drag down these chords down here and start to edit them uh, the same way we did for the orchestra, but you don't necessarily have to do that because once you drag your chords into easy keys, um, you can turn off, once you have a style you like, and let's go through a few more here. some more. All right, so once you find a style that you're liking, and you can change the tempo or preview it in the original um, tempo of the style that played it. Um, you can simply turn off this button once you've gone through and demoed a lot of different styles. Turn off this button and now you can edit. Say, having heard it through these different styles, let's say you don't particularly like that note, that chord, you can instantly change it according to the fifths and the wheel type of thing. It's similar to what you can do in Scalar and it will instantly update and change and then you can go back and hear it in the context of a uh, piano player. So I think I changed this one. say we could uh, swing it a little bit. Try that. Some really nice, beautiful ways of hearing your, your chord progressions. And then just editing them, uh, make sure you turn the button off, and then just click and edit and, um, you know, change it to tempo. And then uh, once you have something you like, um, let's say you like this one we just played, this style, and we've applied it to this, and now we play it in our chords. Let's say we like that, then you replace it, you kind of commit it by hitting the replace button. And now that makes it actual MIDI. And you just drag that into your uh, DAW. And you have the actual changed. You have your original chords that uh, have been edited and updated to the style of whatever type of piano player that you like. And now it can be played uh, in the DAW. And edited in any way you want. So a really powerful way to create uh, orchestral chords, piano chords. Uh, you could do the same thing with easy bass. I believe the same type of idea would apply. There might be a few different ways you have to look at it. But um, 
very, very powerful ways of uh, creating chord progressions and hearing a professional play it and giving you ideas, quickly changing, editing, and then hearing it, and maybe even changing the style and the instruments and getting immediate feedback in a, a really nicely, um, you know, sound and a really uh, put together orchestra. So you get that feedback you're looking for. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you're having a good day or night wherever you're at. We'll see you in the next video.